Hello everyone, and for today's Figma quick tip, I'm gonna show you how to fix the fill container property being disabled on your auto layout. So as you can see here, I have this grid with this cast within it, and I have an auto layout set. But if I hit enter to select everything inside of it, and I try to make these cards go all the way from top to bottom, you can see that the fill container here is actually disabled. So what I actually need to do is to select all the cards and then come here and see that it's enabled. The reason this is happening is because, as you can see, I have this cursor here and this element is set to absolute position. So when I select it alongside with all the cards, they do not have the same properties. So let me show you once again, if I select them all, you can see that I won't be able to hit the fill container, neither the hug contents here. So if I get rid of it and select everything inside, I can make it work. But if you're setting your auto layout to wrap, you might run into a different problem. So now I set my auto layout to wrap. And if I select one here, even though I'm selecting only an object that is actually set to auto layout, it's still disabled. As you can see, it says select other children to set to fill. What this basically means is that it won't allow me to add fill container properties while I have absolute position object within the same frame. If I delete this cursor here that is set to ignore the auto layout, let me delete it. Now we can select the grid entirely. My grid is set to wrap. When I select all the cards inside, I can hit the fill container button. But if I now want to bring back my cursor once again, now if I try to resize this, this is what happens. It automatically set all my cards to a fixed height. And once again, I'm not able to select the fill container. So how to overcome this? Well, let me bring it outside. So I'll select my grid container here alongside with my cursor and then hit Shift A to wrap them into an auto layout. I'll select the cursor and set it to absolute position, ignoring the auto layout. And once again, I'll select the grid component, which is inside, as you can see here, inside the new frame that I just created. Set this to fill, this to fill as well. Since I'm using absolute position here, I have to use the constraints to keep it where I want to. And now I can finally select all my cards and set them to fill container. And if I select this new frame that I just created and resize it, as you can see, it now has not only my cursor with absolute position hovering over the card, but I also have cards resizing responsibly with the fill container property. So that's it for this Figma quick tip. Remember, when you're using wrapping auto layouts, you have to take care of your absolute position elements. So I really hope it helps you and frees out your workflow from now. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to this channel for more content like this, share it with all your designer folks, and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.